Hey guys, it's Lyra here. So today we're going to talk about the Ancestry DNA Kit review. So I recently got my DNA checked out and the results of it were really, really shocking. In fact, they were so shocking that I was questioning who my real dad was. So we are going to get into that, how that all came about. Okay, so they sent me this. I wanted to like give a full review of the whole experience of Ancestry DNA for you guys out there who are curious to try this particular company out because I know there's lots of other companies that offer the same services. Basically, I ordered this. It cost me $150 with all taxes, shipping, and everything included, and this was in Canadian dollars. They shipped it to me. It took roughly a month for this kit to show up in my mailbox from the day that I actually purchased it. Once I got it, it comes in a nice cute little box like this. It comes with an instruction booklet, then it comes with um, the actual tube that you put your DNA in, and then it comes with a little prepaid postage envelope for you to mail that back by airmail to the DNA lab or whatever. And yeah, so you get a tube, and you spit in the tube up to a line. They use your spit to extract the DNA. And then you put this blue chemical in it that stabilizes the DNA and you shake it up. Then you stick it in this envelope, airmail it, sent it off. And then from the exact day that they actually received the DNA, it took them four weeks to the day, like literally to the day of them to actually email me my results. So it took roughly six weeks from the day I mailed it to the day I actually got my results. Mind you, they could have been backlogged because I did buy this during holiday times. Okay, so I thought the timing was reasonable. It wasn't like, I wasn't like desperate and dying to know my DNA results. So uh, let's talk about who my real dad is. My mother is from the Philippines. She is 100% Filipino. She immigrated to Canada. My father met her while he was on vacation, married her in the Philippines. She immigrated back to Canada with my father and then at, shortly a year after they were married, I was born, so she got pregnant pretty fast. I knew my mom was 100% Filipino. I knew for sure there'd be Asian in my DNA results. I wasn't exactly sure what my dad was, and my dad basically just told me that he knew for sure that he was English because he had um, his great grandpa was literally from England. I knew for sure that I was gonna have English in there, for sure, British, okay? Other than that, my dad's like, yeah, I'm not sure, you know, there could be other stuff. My dad just looks like a regular white guy, like a regular, like, European guy, like, where he has European background and ancestry. Shortly before this, about a year prior to me asking for my DNA results, I had known my aunt's DNA results, okay? Here are my aunt's DNA results. She is 75% British, okay? So I was like, okay. So then that means my dad probably has similar DNA. He's probably like 50 to 75% British for sure. That means I should be around 25% to 30% British, right? Okay, so here is your DNA profile on Ancestry. You can click your DNA results here. It's loading my data, yay. Here are my results. I'm 33% Asia East. 15% Polynesia, which I believe is for my mom, so it turns out she's not 100% Asian. 15% Scandinavian, what? So this is Sweden, Norway, Denmark, no idea we had any of this in us. I'm assuming it's from my dad. Ireland, 7% according to this. Europe South, which is Italy and Greece. So I'm a little bit Italian. And then, why am I only 5% English? What? Yeah, 5% English according to this. And then, so this adds up to roughly 80%. The rest here are low competence regions, very small percentages of all of these things. Spain, Portugal, a little bit of Spanish in me. Could be from my mom, because the Spaniards did go to the Philippines. I'm a tiny bit of Armenian, Syrian, Turkish, a little bit of Finland and Russia, some Asia South, got some Middle East going on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different things my DNA possibly is. So this is definitely what they know I am. So I was like, what the F? Why am I only 5% British, right? Wouldn't you be thinking the same thing? I mean, I'm not an expert in biology or genetics, but I thought I'd be at least 20% British maybe. 
but I'm more Scandinavian? What? So I was kind of like, oh my god, maybe my dad isn't my dad. Maybe it's like some other random guy. Like, well, what's happening? But the cool thing about Ancestry is my aunt did her DNA results through Ancestry 2. You can look at your matches here. This is super, super cool, guys. So my brother also did a DNA test, and he is my immediate family. My aunt, who is Auntie Debbie, the one that is 75% British, is linked to me as close family, something like a first cousin, um, uncle or aunt. So it's cool because it knows who you're related to. And then my cousin, my actual first cousin, Ryan, on my father's side as well, is linked to me extremely high. So this right away calmed my, you know, little mini freak out about who my actual dad was. I know for sure it's my dad because it links my dad's sister to me as close family extremely high. Overall, this experience was amazing. Um, I would definitely recommend it to anybody. I definitely think it's worth $150. I don't think it's fake. I don't think it's a fraud because my brother did it and my cousin did it and all they really wanted the info from us was our DNA and our emails and our names and they linked all of us. It knew my cousin was my cousin and it knew my brother was my brother who has very, very similar DNA to me, a very similar DNA makeup. I think the only difference is that he's a little bit more Western Europe, I think, and I'm a little bit more Irish than him. So that was literally the only difference between him and I. We had very similar DNA. It knew we were siblings. It knew we were very, very close with DNA. So like to me, this is all legit. This isn't fake. I've talked to people about this. A lot of people are like, oh, it's fake. I don't think it's real. I think it's just bullshit. I don't think it is because how would it know that, we're rela that I'm related to the, my actual family members without asking any of our information other than our names, our emails, and asking for our DNA, right? Okay, that is my result of this DNA kit. I'm so happy to know my dad is my dad and my brother's dad is his dad too. So yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.